<laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Better check myself back out, you know, when I leave here. So. Hey, big show, man. You guys are going to be in the old historical Rainbow yeah. Ballroom Saturday night. I uh, seen pictures of the last time didn't get to go, but plans are I'm going to be able to go this time. I, I'm excited. Hey. I mean, you know, you guys always do your thing, but you're kind of adjusting to set the standard a little bit more again now. Yeah, well, I think we've kind of found, you know, our niche, I guess you can say, when it comes to um, being consistent with our venues. You know, as you're, you know, building a company, as you're promoting, as you're doing more shows, uh, you know, you're looking for the best opportunity, the best relationship with a venue, and sometimes you're being experimental right. and put in the cage in the middle of a fair. Sometimes you're being experimental and you're put in the cage in a parking lot, right. you know, and uh, then eventually you you know, it leads you to your true destination. And I think right now, uh, especially for the 10 shows that we have confirmed for the year, um, we're, we're consistent with the venues that we're going to. So for example, you'll see us at Rainbow Ballroom this Saturday, March 16th. And then we're gonna head in April to Visalia, to the Visalia Convention Center. And then we're gonna do that back and forth throughout the whole year. Right. So at least for people, you know, that follow 559 Fights or, you know, always are wondering, oh, when's the next 559 Fights? At least they'll know, okay, well, if they're in Fresno, they're at the Rainbow Ballroom. If they're in Visalia, they're at the Visalia Convention Center. So I'm glad we finally found true uh, two true good homes for our, uh, for our fights. Oh, hell yeah. But with the element of actually grappling, in, I mean, obviously they have grappling because of the fights, but actually a, a part of the show or at least be consistent, this grappling. Yeah, we got another the, element. Yeah, yeah, we're adding the new element. I mean, obviously, if you guys follow social media, you saw the success the grappling show that took place in oh, Fresno yeah. Fight last year. So, no, um, you know, there's a trend, even though it's been around for decades, yeah. uh, but the trend is, you know, definitely going up for, for the grappling stage. And I think if it's showcased the right way, if it's given the right production, the right elements, like we do at 559 Fights, I think not only are you going to get the best of both worlds, because you're going to get, you know, some great fights, you know, this Saturday night, but also you're going to get, you know, three grappling, you know, uh, special features that I think people want. And what I like about it, you know, because you got a new, another generation, it's just about the fight. And, you know, past generations, oh, it's on the ground. Or, but a lot of people were educated. There's a lot of new education where they just actually see the art of breath. show and we want to grow valley mma we want to it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be from the valley but we're talking about guys that come from all over i was just talking to my boy enoch over here talking that he was from chicago you know now he's living out here in the valley you know we got guys that come in from southern california northern california that come in you know to the valley to compete on our stage and the reason why they do so is because we're the most consistent brand as far as the amount of shows that we do so for us, we also have to then in return as a promoter, bring the product and make sure that we're right. stepping up our game too. So that's what we're really excited about as, as we kick off our 2019 year out at the Rainbow Ballroom. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, ex I'm excited. I mean, But he, he took care of me and 
she went and the next day she I asked her how are those fights she goes oh they were awesome I go those were amateurs <laughs> what <laughs> she didn't and she she knows fighting and she couldn't tell the difference so to me it, it, it's not like I always tell everybody not better but just their standards are higher and the quality way they put things together you would be surprised at how much of the general public One of the things we did with our branding too, I mean, not necessarily promoting so much of the amateur name. You know, we used to have that back in the day. Now we're just live MMA fighting. I mean, when you come out to the shows, that's what you're expecting to see, you know, yeah, so. Yeah. And that's what you get. I mean, exactly. you honestly do. And it's it's always been a high quality. This because there's other shows that come out and they don't have the same consistency and the same quality that comes out. But the quality is in the matchmaking to make it a fair fight. I mean, and make it a grueling fight for the you know to test their metal. But at the same time, it's a good fight and it's a fun fight to watch. And with with the seventy with seventy fights now, uh, I would say we're we're at seventy two officially. But right now, it's number seventy. Yeah, yeah seven, with seventy <laughs> fights, there were some point fives in there. Yeah, <laughs> the, I mean, you, you look at these and to do that that many times, that consistent and keeping the, the fight fair and competitive it's i mean it's a it's a testament to what you guys are doing and it's awesome for these guys that have this venue because when i started it was like hey you want to do wc and i'm like who am i fighting Whoa. you know i'm like dang i've heard of this before you know there's guys that i've watched on tv fighting so i mean with this them coming in and keeping it at a level where they can progress and with the jujitsu coming it's it's going to educate everybody across the board and just i'm super excited to know in the world of mixed martial arts but that's where jeremy picks up that slack yeah. i mean jeremy is on top of his game when it comes to matchmaking and mma uh so for me i bring the quality of the promotion right. the production these you know the, the excitement the excitement the yeah. drama the spazazz to you know what the way lights work go this way go that way but that's because that's my element that's what i've always you know loved yeah. but at the same time as much as i bring that element to the show I've also become more knowledgeable, you know, with the teachings of, you know, having Jeremy there with me, uh, allowing me to understand more about fighter relations. You know, I mean, as a promoter, I'm going, hey, well, you know, we'll just put them, you know, in a tent somewhere and they don't yeah. need air conditioning. They don't, they're going to go out there and fight. You know, I, my mentality when I first started, that's what I thought, you know, and, and Jeremy had to wake me up multiple times and say, hey, man, we got to take care of these guys. We got to give them hotels and we got to help them here and help them. There. You know, we, we got to take it. They're, they're, they're the show. Right. You know, and once you realize, when, once or once I realized that, you know, it really woke me up to, man, I really got to take care of the fighters, you know, and, uh, you know, it's, it was a learning experience, but that was because I was from a promoter background. So. Right, and from the fighter side, I mean, knowing that you're being taken care of across the board, mm -hmm. it gives you a chance to focus on the fight and make sure. quality places to go you know it's the same day venue and make sure that they're taken care of it just there are a lot of things that they're, they're getting out of this that other productions just don't do i mean well, they really i'm sure don't. these guys will tell you you know i'm sure that they're going to base their experience and and
I do want, you know, the quality of our shows always to get better and better. I never just want to stay stagnant, right. you know. And, then, then, you know, like you mentioned, you know, the other organizations that are out there that come out and still produce shows, I still think that's great. Yeah, they're you doing. You know, I think that's phenomenal. I think we should have, you know, more competition. You know, I yeah, think but... we should have more, you know, a uh, 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 variety of other shows to kind of see what's out there and see who's putting out, you know. Well, what's your, produ- your production level and the quality that's coming out? You guys are kind of setting the bar. I mean... You guys are groundbreaking on a lot of different things, adding the jujitsu, and you know, and it's 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 you guys are setting a bar, but at the same time paving a way for other people to see. Maybe the parking lot shows a little bit harder than what you thought, you know, and you know, there's different things, but you guys are willing to take the risk ahead of time, and other people are profiting from that too. At the same time, other shows are like, well, they kind of did it this way, and so you guys are road mapping this out, and which is awesome because at the same time, MMA has been a while around a while, but you guys are still pioneering through in smaller events, which. I mean, it's not going to be at, you know, O2 Center, but, I mean, you guys are packing out a house at, at classic places like the ballroom yeah. and the convention center. And it's it's a very cool thing to watch and be so close to, you know, and just to see how well it's put together and fights are, are, are put together and then all of a sudden the production quality is out the roof. You know, yeah. you're like, this is amazing. So it's just fun to watch because you go to other shows and you enjoy the show, but you see different things. And then you start becoming, like, 559 fights have started to become the measuring rod. And so it's just, it's it's hard for you guys because it's going to give you guys a lot of responsibility to keep pushing. The no, of course, envelope. yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I've had this vision, you know, <clears throat> in regards to, you know, the direction of, of the company and how, you know, we want to be perceived. So, you know, when major... Make sure he's on the team on the big leagues, you know. Um, so I think in MMA... You know, yeah, there's some distinction, but it's not an official distinction. Right. You know, when you go to an amateur show, that doesn't necessarily mean that that guy will eventually, you know, make it to the UFC because he was on that show. Right. You know what I mean? So I think our or my vision and, and eventually the, the company would like to be that official name. You know, right. we want to be that place where these guiders, these, these uh, amateurs start off at, you know, and eventually, you know, from, from 559 fights, and they get picked up and they go pro and then they go to a you know popular casino that does shows right. or you know LFA or Combate and right. then they go there you know and then all of a sudden you see this guy in the UFC yep. you know so but he started at 559 fights and that's what we want that's what uh, you know growing the Valley MMA is all about yeah and, and it is there's a reputation now I mean a lot of people I hear it a lot in my circle
Trail, coming from Team Kaliga, and uh, I'm excited for Saturday. Oh, I'm uh, Thomas Tarrant. I, uh, I'm with uh, Team UB in May. I'm right there in Springfield, California. Okay. And it's Brennan Ward. Cross time, whatever yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah. But uh, that's awesome. For my opponent, uh, he's I believe I'm a kryptonite to him, you know, okay. but uh, he got a nice style. I like it. I believe I match up very well for him. It's a co main event, it's gonna be a big show, and I believe nice. it's gonna be a, a nice fight. What about how was, how was your camp? Keeping that composure, keeping that, that hungerness, being right. humble, and just being ready for that, that opportunity just to shine in front of everybody, you know? And uh, my coach, he asked me, and I said, I, I believe I'm cool. Just keep me in the back. Just keep me warmed up. Keep me right. Keep going with the game plan. And I believe I'll come out to succeed. And one time I found him.
kept real with me, you know. That's, yeah. that's it's like your me. anchor right there, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's really like, like they put the fire under me all the time. Every time I call them, I look at my grandfather video before he passed, and they, they got him dead. You're gonna get hit. You have to adjust. Yeah. All right, and it's funny because Tyson always said everybody has a game plan to get hit in the mouth. But I mean, debut versus debut, those are some of the craziest fights I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. I expect I expect it to be a brawl because I know once I get hit, it's gonna be, you know, it's, right. it's gonna start flying. That's awesome. You know, I, that's that's why that's why I want. First, I want to get hit. I want to hit. I want. They're not willing to shy away from the scrap. Yeah. So I know now through the years and the experience they've gathered, they pass it on. But like uh, guys, when I first started going there, all I wanted to do was boxing. That was it. You know, like yeah, I just loved boxing. Boxing was my passion. And 
there's like, you know, just come to jiu-jitsu class, you know, get some cardio in, stuff like that, you know, we'll, we'll set you up a boxing match. I'm like, all right, yeah, cool. But I get in there, I start doing jiu-jitsu, I'm like, I like this a lot. I really like this, man. I thought I was kind of like a tough guy going in there, you know, getting rolled up, you know, I can roll around for 20 seconds, I'm tired on, on the ground. Any girls now, up there? But it's just, it, it's cool because I mean, hearing you guys say that you're going out to different places. Like when I started, it was like my gym. What I have here is what I got. That's yeah. it, you know. And if you tell your coach, hey, I want to think about you know cruising out the coast, you know, and training. Why would you do that? Yeah, it was like offensive. But you guys are traveling around and hitting multiple places. I mean, yeah. reputable places, the places that produce good fighters. And all of a sudden, you're starting to see like the harvest of what what you've been taking them because all the fruit that's been giving you, you're harvesting in and you put a a fight plan together and you put your package out there it's awesome yeah i mean it's and i'm looking forward to seeing all this i mean it's it's half the reason that like i wanted to talk to you guys because i wanted to see what you know what to look for in a fight you know yeah. definitely so, the reason we do that is because uh, at our gym we do we teach everything you know wrestling right. uh, muay thai you know boxing all that stuff but we want to go to gyms where it's where certain things are dominant like piranha jiu-jitsu like jiu-jitsu is dominant here. right so we go there we learn the best jiu-jitsu from the best people right you know antoine comes down to uh, jiu-jitsu skateboxing you know, and anyone knows Antoine, you know, kickboxing is, is you know, he's amazing, yeah. You know, and he's, he's a good guy, Yeah, very he's good, 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 he's a good, good guy. Good yeah. guy, that's a good yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Good teacher, you know, and all of them are good teachers. Uh, Art, all of them, they've been helping us out. We're ready for this fight. That's awesome. Yeah, we plan on, uh, we have three people on the card from UBMA, and we plan all this to win. Yeah. Who's, the, who's the other guy? I know you're on it. Uh, Leo. Leo, yeah, yeah. yeah. buddy Leo, yeah. So you're, you're fighting, you know anything about your guy? I know nothing other than he's been stalking me on Instagram. Nice! <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I saw him on there the other day. I was like, all right, bro. I was like, I don't really post anything, so he's not saying much other than, like, me posting myself at work or whatever. But, um, you know, I, I haven't really posted anything from, like, my fights. Because this is my debut as well. I've only been training for a month now. Yep. And so. But he's a killer, man. Yeah. Like, he learns I'm, I'm exciting. I have, I have a wrestling base, yeah. so you should have you should have a good cardio base, and that's, yeah. I mean yeah. that's that's the biggest thing for any debut. When you first fight, I mean the, the, the adrenaline dump walking out it, like just kills you. I mean you know <laughs> if you don't have cardio, you know you don't have cardio right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. yeah, and, and like like as you said before, like getting different bodies on you. Everybody has different styles, different strengths, different. Um, you know, maybe they they like certain submissions, so you're going up against people that I, you know, it's just it's just a constant flow and a, and a constant like learning experience, and uh, training at three different gyms, like that's that's all I get, I, you know, like we have some 14 year olds. It's so much. It's so much more satisfying to watch somebody's ego disappear. You know, I'm not forcing it, but I mean, if they like, say they start rolling, you'd be like, dude, you just chill out. Yeah. But I mean, then all of a sudden, if, if they come in and you you have to put hands on them, it's like, come on, man. What? You know, then you pray that they come back. You know, because yeah. I mean, you don't want to do something to to, to, to to discourage your career. But ego is the killer of every every starting fighter, because if you can't let let go of that ego, 
I mean, being a, you got if you don't humble yourself, you get ate up. I mean, you really do, and yeah. it's 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 a hard thing to do. Because I go in, and I'm thinking, man, I've been doing this for 20 years, and all of a sudden, some you know. Mm -hmm. Coach Fraser, he he has stayed at after practice. It's like a, only an hour of practice, and he has stayed at for an extra hour yeah. to just throw me any information that I need to learn. He told me to come in one practice with a notebook, whatever you need to know, write it down, jot it down, and I will teach you. That's the type of coach. My coach, my own coach, that's in my corner, Lord Watson. He does the same thing. When I'm done practicing, we sit down, we chop it up. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just part of the game. It's just about you learning yourself and having that type of people in your corner to tell you, hey, you need to calm down or you just need to calm and, yourself. And a lot of young fighters don't realize that your coaches are excited about the game. Yeah. And then if you're excited about the game and you're ready to put effort in yourself, oh, well, here goes the next three hours because you guys are going to talk about it. And then he's going to show you some stuff. And then it was, and but being excited about that and being the, with the humble aspect, making sure that you know that I'm not good at this and I want to learn it, you know, and, being able to break that down, that just increases your fighting ability exponentially. I mean, because it makes training worth it. You're just not training for form. You're training for something that you need to work on to better yourself in increasing the game. So, yeah. Yeah. Plus, amazing. you get excited once you get it. You want to try it again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. All of a sudden, you get like a double loop choke when you're doing gi. You're like, well, I got yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to get uh, beat up to learn, though. You know, yeah. If you want to learn, you got to get beat up a thousand times to win one time, you know. And I mean, where you guys are training at, those guys, I've watched them grind, man. They don't mess around. And for them to put their name on a fighter, I mean, with you so young in the game, they, they see something in you, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, that's, that's another trait you have to have is just the willing to either get your ass kicked and keep moving, you know, or, or, or you're just going to get beat up. And I've seen some gyms that have popped up and disappeared, but they just throw guys out there just to get their name out there, yeah. you know. Yeah. And so and that's a hard thing to fight through. Because yeah. if you're just starting the game, you don't know what to look for. So, yeah, my yeah. favorite thing is after after classes when we have open mats, like I'll go up to the best guy in the gym and be like, all right, let's get a roll in. Yeah. You know? and well, let's just, go up to the black belt, man. Up, you know? It's an honor it's, to roll with the black belt. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And every, I'm, I believe I'm like the shortest guy in my gym. Everybody is at least 6'1", 200 mm -hmm. of, you know, pounds or whatever. And I'm the littlest guy. Every time I spar, it's someone's taller than me. Yep. And I feel like every time I get that opportunity for a person that's my height, I'm gonna hurt you. you know what I'm, <laughs> right. I'm, glad, I'm glad that the people that's around me and my gym is taller than me and give me, give me confidence and give me to teach me how to move band strong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you're gonna get that head movement and move oh, yeah. out of it. Because I mean, guys, you're fighting guys with mm -hmm. six, seven, eight reach over top of you. Then yeah. all of a sudden, you get a guy that's your same size. Look at this guy over there. He, yeah, he's a he, he one of over one there. my beats. He's only 18. Right. You know, and he been he been boxing. I introduced him to wrestling. He didn't know how to wrestle at all, and. Two years in it, he's killing it, you know? Right. But his boxing skills, you know, and he's so long and lanky. My coach, he's so long and lanky. Other, my other teammates are just big. And all we do is wrestle, box, and I'm the shortest guy in there, and I'm going against the biggest guys, you know? And right. I'm keeping it push. There you go. Man, Just push weight. That's, yeah, all, that, that's all it is. Yeah. Yeah, with my wrestling base, um, like getting back into jujitsu and everything, it was – you know, being put on your back, it's like I, like I I gave up my back like that first week, like that whole first week, because it was just like I'm like I'm gonna get pinned, you know, and so I'd roll right. over and then someone would take my back, and then I was like, all right, and then like the second week I got a little bit more comfortable, and now it's like, now it's just like you buy your time, tire the person out, pick your shots, set up movements, counter, it's it's great. I love the like you know like the chess match of it all, or just like you know the strategy involved. Um, it's I. I don't know. I've, I've I haven't missed a day. You know, I've I've been at it. I train six days a week, and it's it's 
it's definitely changed my lifestyle, my eating habits, you know, like people I hang around with. It's it's great. Like, right. And then that's another thing. It's um, we we're talking earlier about social media and stuff like that. And when we like the older guys and when he was doing um, first starting out doing right, we didn't have an outlet. You know, you got to Google me and yep. get him find that. You guys can instantly be out there. And it's kind of cool. When when we wrap things up, we'll get to make sure everybody has your Instagram accounts and Facebook and whatever you guys are using. But it's a mainline to you guys. I mean, it's a direct source to you guys. It's a lot easier to move fans that way, and for you to market yourself and display. You know, hey, you know, we got this, this, and this, and you know, so so sponsor me now and come check them out. And you know, it just all of a sudden you're growing a, a brand. You know, you're branding yourself, and it's kind of cool. And watching from because I mean. Who knows? You, you guys may do a couple fights and be done, or you guys may be holding the belt, you know, in belt or UFC at some point. We, like, I don't know. It's just fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so I'm what, seeing this, the young stuff starting. Me, look at Alex Perez. He's fun. Gives you something to strive for and move a little bit harder. And when the, the days you like wake up, and you're like, the gym does not sound good. You know, oh God, yeah. it's like. <laughs> Good, better, and different. You guys can have fun and learn from that whole point. And so, yeah, yeah. I, I think a physical art is important. I think it, all people should like mm -hmm. indulge in it, even if they're not going to compete, just mm -hmm. to get out and you know get in the gym. I mean, I get a better workout, you know, training jujitsu than going and lifting oh, or like going and running a couple miles at the gym on the treadmill. You know, right? Like, I I, I think that's really important. Like, I I have my bachelor's in media arts and animation, and like that was like my passion. I wanted to do that, and then uh, it, I. Couldn't afford living out in Hollywood anymore, so I went right. back, and then I was like sitting on the couch, and I felt like I was getting fat, and I was like, I'm gonna go train jujitsu, and I started <laughs> training, and they were like, you know, you're you're decent, bro, you want to fight, and I was like, sure, and I was scheduled for May 11th, and then they were like, hey, we got a another debut fighter that that, that we need for uh, March 16th, right. if you want to jump on that card, and I was like, sure, why not, you know, more experience, so you know. try to get you back on the May card too, yeah, you know, so here we are, you know, and this is exciting, you know, being here, <laughs> it is, man, it it all starts. Here and Saturday night, man, the door is going to open for you guys, and it's what you make on that other side of it, you know. And the main thing, just go have fun, man. Yeah, just go have fun. Yeah, if you're not having fun, you need to be doing something else. Yeah. And it's just that simple. Um, you put in the work, now it's, you know, and that's probably what the hardest part is. The fight should be easy, you know, like that. I'm sure you heard that a lot of times, but there's, a lot of fighters, the only thing that changes is just the face. But they all say the same thing. You know? I mean, the hardest fight is always the training camp and the weight cut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the is. fight's easy. That's that's the reward. And so, I mean, because a lot of the for your friends know, people that do it, people learn it's more. But some of the people that are watching, they don't understand that. You know, three, two months, I mean, you're only doing you're in one month spiral, but. You know, you've changed what you're eating, you changed this, and all of a sudden that does change your personality because you start pulling sugar out of somebody, they're an asshole for five days. Uh, you know what yeah. I mean? Oh, <laughs> so, I mean, and there are people around you have to, like, yeah. talk to you, and they're like, what is wrong with you? Why, know, why, yeah. why do you hate everybody? I'm like, dude, I haven't had sugar in, like, 12 hours. It sucks, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my girlfriend. She put up with me so much with the fight count. And people, yes. that's those are the unsung heroes because oh. they they support you all the way till oh then when God. you can't walk and you're all beat up after the fight, they're like, hey, let me help you down. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, so. like, my weight cut is no joke. Like, 
even through wrestling, like I said, like I did it the wrong way, caveman right. style. Right. And sleeping with garbage bag, Vaseline on, had hoodies, right. sweatpants, sweatpants stuck in my socks. And I'm sleeping like that. That was my right. back in the days. But now it's so it feel like it's easier, but I still want some sugar, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. I still want to look 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 candy, look cake or whatever, but it's hard, but at the same time, I feel good. It's right. It's gonna come off to me at the end. I mean, juice, juice got to be worth the squeeze. Like, oh, every yeah. single time, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, my grandma thinks it's funny. Bring home like Twinkies and stuff, like the coconut oh, kind, oh, my yeah. favorite kind. And she be like, "Want a bag? You want some?" I look at her like, "Want to get choke slam, grandma?" <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll I'll watch like, you know I'm dieting. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch Javi get like he's be cutting for fights bar, uh-huh. and I'll, his favorite thing in the world is pizza. So I'll just text him a slice of pizza. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'll get like just a stream of f you text, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, it's it, it's just a small thing. There's there's always like a meal that you want to have after you fight. What is your meal? After after fight. After you fight, you're after. done, and you can have whatever you want. I don't even think you want to know. I do. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't want to know. <laughs> I've been targeting a four by four from In and Out. There you go. Right. <laughs> two <laughs> two four by fours <laughs> with banana pepper. Uh, I gotta have some tacos. Oh man, I can't it's gonna be a weekend this. event. It's not gonna be one meal, huh? <laughs> <laughs> right after, right after. I just, yeah, those are my main two goals right now. What about you? I don't know. Honestly, I probably won't eat anything like too unhealthy because I want to stay weight cut. Dude, you can have a cheat meal, man. I'll probably eat sushi. I mean, that's I love, I love sushi. It's it's healthy for you, but the rice I can't really eat right now, anyways. Right? So. No, I understand. I get but. That. Probably sushi. I love sushi. What about you? I'm getting hot wings. I'm getting like, <laughs> I'm getting no like, hesitation. I'm getting like 30 original hot and then like 30 lemon pepper. Oh, and I'm going to squash all of those. No wings do sound good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to stick some. <laughs> Immediately. That's funny. That's horrible. I mean, today's pie day and you guys can't even indulge, man. That's horrible. That's I mean, okay. So I, I don't like pie anyways. Yeah. That's what you're telling yourself. <laughs> I, I don't like pie. I don't like pie. <laughs> Uh, that's it hey we want to take a chance man and uh or give you guys an opportunity um we'll start wherever who wants to go first and shout out the people that take care of you man sponsor put your instagram out there give you that opportunity everything all we can contact you people can keep an eye on you see your progress all that stuff whoever wants to start You got volunteered. Uh, I'll go, I'll go well, I just want to shout out my team, you know, UBMMA, um, our associates, uh, Antoine and his team. I forgot his fight. Strike Force, right? Flawless Victory. MMA. Flawless Victory MMA. And uh, Piranha Jiu Jitsu, man. You, you guys help out so much. We appreciate you guys so much for helping us get us ready for a fight. Brandon Cohey, Billy, uh, all you guys at the UB gym, you know, you guys help us out so much. And we appreciate you guys, you know, because you guys are the reason we're here now and what we're about to do and what we're about to make of our gym, you know, over there in Springville. And, um, yeah, I mean, follow me on Instagram if you want, Thomas Wayne, nothing special. Um, yeah. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Get on the ground floor. I just want to give a shout out to my team, just everybody at Team Kalinga MMA. I want to give a shout out to my, my boy Francisco, uh, my coach, Lowe Watson. I want to give out to, I want to give a shout out to all the camp that I went to for this fight camp, uh, the Pit Fit. Um, Valley Fight Club, that was a straight blessing that y'all gave me and all the experience that y'all taught me, all the knowledge that y'all gave me and that's a big shout out. And I would definitely want to give a shout out to my girlfriend, you know, I love you and uh, Saturday is going to be a good night. Got any um, social media you want to put out there? Social media is my Instagram is E underscore knock, that's spelled N-O-C-K-5 and uh, my Facebook is, is my name, Enoch McCutcher Jr. It's easy to find me on there. Yeah, uh, shout out to UBMMA, Brandon, Billy, um, Jason, Albert, and Art down at Prana Jiu-Jitsu, um, CBCA, Paul Estrada, Javier Ayala, Joe Soto. Um, I mean, you guys have really punished me these last couple weeks, and I, I really appreciate it. You know, you put me through some good training. Um, yeah, shout out to my girlfriend, too. She's supported me, like, paid for my gym memberships and everything, bought my gi, so I, I mean, I couldn't couldn't do it without her um, and my family all everybody that bought tickets for me I appreciate it a lot you know come out and support we're all gonna put on a show and I'm ready you what about your social media you uh, social media Instagram is etched in etch 3d underscore one in um, Facebook is just burning board there you go hey that you know 
I'm excited. I haven't been to. Uh, I, this is terrible for me to say. <laughs> I haven't been to one, one of the fights on on the weekends for a while, other than you know going at another location. But I'm looking forward to it. And then uh, obviously five five nine fights and the MMA fight pass kind of connected for this year. So it's it's, it's a new beginning uh, for us, a new venture for us. But we're also going to be stepping up our game there too. I know we're working on merchandise uh, that we'll be making. And also, we're going to be doing after the fight interviews, kind of like what ESPN does. So, nice. whether, when, I, I don't say lose, I say learn, learn because it's a process either way. When you win, you learn what you can do better, what you lose, and you know what you can, the lesson that's being learned too. So, I want to, I want to say uh, thank you to that. And looking forward to it, Saturday night, Rainbow Ballroom, myself, Van Palacio, shout out to the Spike and Rail here, Barbecue House for taking care of us. Eddie out there, Visalia MMA, I'm sure you guys have visited Eddie. Eddie has a hookup, man, for any of your combat sports okay. needs. Leppler Digital and Alonzo out there, about millions and 559 fights. And that's it. We'll see you next week. Go back right home. Awesome. Oh, All right, guys. That was great. That was awesome. awesome. Yeah, that's, that's what I say. Just to appreciate it. Chop it up. Yeah, no awesome. big deal. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Don't run out too quick. We have to take a picture in front of everything. Can you sit back down or are we just going to stand in front? Yeah, we'll stand up.